Bismillah and Assalamualaikum Now this video will explain about the introduction to binomial distribution Now binomial distribution is one of the discrete probability distribution But today we'll go into binomial distribution So first and foremost, you have to know the definition The definition says that a binomial probability distribution must satisfy the binomial experiment. So, what is the binomial experiment? Binomial experiment satisfy four conditions, which is the first one, you must have an n-identical trial. So, n-identical trials means, for example, if you chose a coin two times. So, identical trial, which is to sing the coin one time and the second time also it is a coin all right and then it must have only two mutually exclusive outcome all right it's a success outcome or failure outcome for example to sing a coin what is your success event do you want if you want it to be whether a he or a tail so if you want your he to be a success event then your tail will be a failure event okay we'll see more example later then the probability of a success event we name it as p and the probability of a failure event we name it as q since there are only two outcome the total of p plus q should be equivalent to one now the third condition says that the probability of p and q in each trial should remain constant means that for example you chose the coin the first time you probability of getting a hit is one over two if you choose the coin the second time the probability of getting a hit still one over two means that your probability of success doesn't change or you say it remain constant this is the con uh, uh, can conclude the fourth condition which is your trials are independent trials independence means that for every um trials your probability of success would have the same um unchanged probability or remain constant so there are the four things that you have to know when you want to identify whether it is binomial distribution or not now you can write your binomial distribution in notation form where x is your random variable having a binomial with the parameter of n and p all right now these two we call it parameters this different distribution have different parameters now for binomial you're gonna have parameters of n and p remember that now formula is not given but you have to memorize which is a formula of the uh, binomial distribution will have px equivalent to r n choose r p power r q power n minus r so you have to know that okay this is n minus r this one you have to memorize somehow or rather okay now mean variance and standard deviation for mean x, which is your mean random variable, which is binomial random variable, would have n multiplied by p, your parameters. And variance will have n, p, q. Standard deviation basically is square root of your variance, which is square root n, p, q over here. Okay. Now, let's look at example and how you can identify your binomial distribution. For example... The following are some example of the binomial experiments. So, if a die is thrown 10 times and the number of times the number 5 appear is counted. Now, over here, <coughs> what is your N? What is your success event? You have to identify. So, a die is thrown 10 times. So, experiment is experiment on throwing a die which is 10 times would be your trials. So this one you can put n equivalent to 10. 
and the number of times number of times number five appear number five appear is gonna be your success event so basically if i ask you what is p then p is basically when you get probability of five when throwing a die throwing a die has a sample of one two three four five and six so probability of getting five is one over by six so this is probability of success okay now let's look at number two in the shop there are good and rotten apples so basically the good and rotten apple is a success and failure event so each customer's randomly chooses 20 apples and the number of good apple is noted so what is your success event over here number of good apples so this is going to be your success uh, how many trials you have you have 20 apples of trials over here this is going to be n equivalent to 20. do you know what is your p now over here we don't know the p because it's not given over here okay so never mind in question they will state what is the p or you can find the p for example like the question number one all right now number three let's identify the binomial distribution so if you have in a box there are 10 red balls and 20 blue balls so five balls are drawn randomly from the box one after another with replacement and the number of red ball is noted you can see that your success event over here is a red ball so this is a number of red ball for success event my question is it independent event how can you know it is independent so again independent event if with replacement that is a hint that it is a independent event because your probability of success will remain constant so this one in chapter uh, previous chapter you should know already okay now what is your n your n over here basically is 10 plus by 20 lah which is with 30 balls so you have 30 balls and your success event is a red ball the probability of a success probability of getting one red ball basically from here you can find or not you do can find because out of 10 divided by for 10 red this 10 red divided by total 30 so you get 1 over by 3 so this is going to be your probability of success event. Okay.